Hey everyone, Mike Hayne at the Hagen Jones Homestead out in the greenhouse on this beautiful August day. Um, I'm excited. Some of the seeds that I've been uh, stratifying for well, 100 and, uh, 120 days cold and 60 days warm, but opposite. 60 days warm first, followed by 120 days cold. They're actually sprouting inside my container. Um, I'm awesome. These are a cherry plum seed that I got from the Incredible Seed Company. Um, so I'm going to plant these, hopefully get them to a nice height, let them winter in the greenhouse here with my pawpaws and other uh, plants that I have going in here, um, and then plant them outside next spring uh, around the homestead. So what I'm doing here is I've got a, uh, I've got a mix of a um, ProMix Pure Light compost uh, soil, super light, super airy, uh, really nice for growing in. I'm using a, a 4x10 tree stand pot. Um, that I got from uh, a company outside of Toronto, Ontario. And uh, that is about it. So first I'm gonna do the ones that, um, that are sprouted. As you can see, they've got a nice long, you see that, tap root and everything. So what I'll do, and I did this before, Uh, part of a bamboo stick and um, I'm just gonna go in make a nice hole for the tap root to go in so I've got these pre-filled uh, with the soil and pre-watered um, and then I'm gonna take this tap root squeeze it in there try to get to go straight down I don't want any you know J rooting or circle rooting and then I'll just pack a little soil around it So I'll show you again on the root system where, um, where I was planting. So there we go, there's the first one. Looks good, so as you can see, you know, you can kind of tell where the soil ends and the root begins. So I'm gonna, uh, when I plant them, I'm gonna only plant them right up to the top of the soil there. So once again, grab my stick, make a nice little hole for it so I can get the root in. Tap that root down so it's going straight down, and then backfill around, kind of trying to keep it at that same level that it was in the container. So that's two. Oh, this one's got a nice root. Look at that. So there we go again. You can see soil finished here, tap root. Go down. that, take that tap root, I'll even use this to help push that root down into the bottom of this pot, like that, and then fill around it. And I want to make sure that that soil, if I kind of made a hole, make sure that soil's filled up around the root and I, I definitely make an effort when I water them for the first time to really focus that water around um, the actual stem of the plant to help fill in because I, as, I, as you saw I made a hole with this so I need that to kind of pack around it so those ones are my pre-sprouted ones unfortunately out of the I think it's 10 or 12 seedlings I only got um, only got two pre-spreads, so I'm gonna pick through here. Get the oh oh found another awesome. So go down go like that. Put the root in. Back fill. Squeeze it in so it's nice and tight, nice and moist around the root. Top up the soil around. Done. So that's two, that's three, that's four. I found two seeds that haven't sprouted. Ah, another one. Sweet. So, let's go like this. This one's a really small one, as you can see. Super small. There's the little top. That's that, that one goes in, 
you know, because I'm not making as much of a hole for the small ones, I don't need to be as backfilled around it. So that's five, so I should have five more seeds in here. Yep, there's five. Well, maybe it was a 12 pack. Let's just check. That's an empty seed. Yep. There's 11. And there's 12. So, just in case, I'll sift this into the soil bin, making sure there's not magically more seeds than I thought. Oh, 13. I will say a lot of the seeds I got from Incredible Seeds came with way more seeds than I paid for, which is nice, a little bonus. So that's that. No more seeds in there. Oh, I lied. Okay, so that was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I bet you there's more in there and I've lost them now. Oh well, they'll show up. Okay, so then for the rest of them, uh, I'm just going to plant them right in the tree pots. I'm not going to go very deep. Um, you know, you don't want to put them too deep. They're just in there. You know, just covered by the, uh, by the soil so that they stay moist. And so those ones will go in there. So that is my tray. And then just for fun, because I'm always trying different stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fill this back up. Like so. And I'm actually just going to put these into here top it with a little bit of soil and then I'll see if those will sprout in the in the container so I just put the last um, what did I say I had 17 the last seven in here to see if they'll sprout out of that container and then of course, you know, give everything a nice good water. This, uh, this wasn't watered, so I'll give this a nice heavy water. There we go, and then as I said, really focusing around the roots on these, uh, these pre-sprouted ones to kind of fill in the hole I made when I uh, when I went in with the bamboo stick. So far, the cherry plum and the Manchurian apricot that I got uh, sprouted in my fridge during the cold stratification process, which was pretty cool to see because I have had mixed mixed successes on my seedlings this year. Not that I'm a pro. This is my first year ever trying to trying to plant these tree seeds, but. That's that. This one here, I want to kind of make sure the head of the seed doesn't get buried. There we go. So that is planting the cherry plums, uh, cherry plum trees that I got from Incredible Seed Company. Again, so uh, basic rundown on how I did this. I uh, started with, uh, you know, some uh, very light soil. You could use sand. Uh, I used a, just Pro Mix. Um, got it nice and moist. 
put the seeds in here. I left them in my house for two months, 60 days at about you know, 21, whatever, house temperature um, to give them that warm stratification process. Then I moved them into my uh, bar fridge here in the shop. Um, they sat in there for 120 days. It's actually been you know, longer than that, almost 140, 150 days, but whatever, they seem to be still alive and uh, they seem to be still growing, so that's good. Um, and then I moved them into the uh, four by 10 uh, tree pots that I got um, from a company here in, in Ontario. And then I used my uh, ProMix uh, Pure Light uh, compost mix for the soil. I like to compost in there, give it a little bit of nutrients, you know, so I don't have to artificially, uh, you know, add nutrients. And this will get them through until I plant them out on the homestead. Um, so that is about it. And again, you know, I've always said, and I always want to thank everybody for coming to check out our videos here at the Hagen Jones Homestead. Um, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. You know, if you've got tips, feedback, any ideas, you know, how I could doing this better, please comment, you know, in the comment section. It's important to me. I'm always learning. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out.